Hi everyone, we are admiring this incredible photography work behind me and I am so happy to introduce to you the artist, creator of these works, Pinar Ervadar yes. from Turkey. I am so excited to interview somebody from Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you feeling today? Thank you very much. Uh, a little bit excited, yes. <laughs> but it's okay. It's, so fine. it's, it's okay. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Find you from New York because yeah. I have also exhibited in New York, uh, in Chelsea, in the Agora Gallery, okay. in years ago, and in some of the art fairs. Yeah. So it's not strange for me, it's in New York. Exciting. Well, let's chat about your work, but before we get there, I want to chat about you. When did you realize, when did you discover you wanted to be an artist? I am a late artist, okay. as my mother did, because my mother started painting with her 50s. Wow. Yes, and uh, I started with 45. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> one year ago. <laughs> No, it was in uh, the year 20, uh, 2000. Okay. Okay. And uh, I had several other jobs. I am industrial engineer from the school. And then I had a kindergarten for 10 years. I uh, was in contact with children. And this was very, uh, how do you say, uh, inspiring. inspiring for me. And I also started photographing with the children because I thought uh, the mothers and fathers are not seeing the best moments of the children. So I was taking all the time their activities and sending to their mothers. Uh, so I started taking uh, people's photographs and I am very much interested in taking details, nature and everything which is uh, vibrating is interesting for me. And every small detail is interesting for me. And uh, in 2000, I started uh, with painting because uh, in my neighborhood, my uh, business office, uh, my friends started to paint. So I was not thinking of uh, painting, but I said it's a big chance. I have a neighborhood with a very good teacher, Yusuf Taktak from Istanbul, and why shall I not try? So I started uh, painting and uh, after the first day I never left it. It is addicted. Yes. Well, I know you have different, you use me different media, painting, yeah. photography, anything else? collage and uh, mostly I am uh, painting with music and I am uh, working on floor because I am doing it with pigments and fluid media so like two meters three meters even seven meters uh, canvas I put on the floor and I am dancing all around with music and with big uh, What's this? Uh, brushes. brushes. Wow. And uh, I like the music. Uh, I don't get uh, start with thinking mostly. Uh, if it isn't any project, I just uh, meditate, prepare myself for the uniqueness, and then I start. And the painting brings me wherever she wants to, not wherever. I want to. I am uh, painting with fluid material, then I am taking the photographs of them. So I see more the reflections and uh, details. So I start to dance around it with some contrast and some acrylic ink, uh, sometimes oil. I use less oil. If I use oil, I do it with a great uh, spatulas okay. and Fast. yes so it is <laughs> wow do you paint at open air or you paint in a studio uh, i have a studio by my own and it is a very uh, historical area in karaköy and i have many uh, russian 
uh, Orthodox churches around me, and they are inspiring. And I have a balcony. Sometimes I do it in the balcony, but mostly inside. Where do you draw your inspiration from? From every living uh, creature. creature. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> from every living creature, I will be inspired. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, the music is very important for me. The first moment I enter my studio, I open the music and I recreate myself and start my meditation and everything what makes me lighter. So I mostly talk with God, write letters to her, and then I say it's okay, it's time, and start painting. Is there a message that you convey one one specific message or it just flows? I am coming from a country which is a bridge for most of the things. We have a very, very mosaic country. We have every religion, every nationality, every kind of people and we are welcoming everybody. And we are children of Atatürk. So uh, I want to express all of this mixture and I want that the whole world will be unique without any religion, any uh, difference, any discrimination, any uh, different. We are all one. And I hope the art will unite us in unity. Yeah. And I think it's, it's a very important role for the artists um, nowadays, especially with you know world events as they are to raise that awareness and I thank you so much for sharing that message. It's really important for everybody to watch, to hear. I hope. I hope. It's, it begins inside of us, yes. of course, because we are uh, having war inside. I am trying to make this clear and I hope if everyone does clean inside, then it will be a unique word because we are losing everything. We are losing nature. We are losing people for some money <laughs> at the end. Some will be rich. Therefore, our children die. Our nature die. And we are losing our breath with our own hands. Can you talk to us about these works here? Yes. They're so inspiring. I like the movement, there is a flow, the colors, um, there's even texture, it's like smooth. Because uh, it was a dance with the moon. I tried to take photo of the moon. And the moon is uh, actually uh, told that it is not living. This card of our last lives and last particulars and which is not living so dancing with the moon it was a new uh, vibration we had between us so i try to take usual photo of the moon with control and it didn't allow me to control her so I decided not to control myself and making some crazy movements with the moon. And I said, wow, what is coming out? And then I tried to uh, dance in a kadrash uh, uh, because it is very difficult to catch this. It goes this side, this side, this yeah. side, this side. And uh, I have to be very, very controlled but very very free so like dancing with the moon mm -hmm. so it is called moon dance and is a series of it and uh, there are others like sea and uh, sand and uh, another group of my photographs is faux part I uh, call this is the photography, painting, part, art. This is a name I found for myself. 
And uh, this I uh, exhibited in New York, in Paris, in solo exhibition, in uh, Nancy, in solo exhibition, in Turkey, in group exhibitions. And this is another series. There I made from my paintings some new installations. Mm -hmm. And with light and filter, I took the photographs of them. And what are you working on right now? Is there a specific series that you're doing right yes. now? I am now uh, working on a four leaves, uh, how do you call this flower with four leaves? Ah, the clover. Clover, the clover. yes, yeah. flower. And this has four cloves and uh, one is the hope, the other one is love, the other one is uh, chance and the other one is fate. There are going to be two meter and 90 centimeters for blocks and it is going to be finished soon. Well, we look forward to seeing more of your work thank you. and thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to interview you. Any message you want to send to New Yorkers out there who are watching? There are many New Yorker friends and I, as I said, everybody is unique. I hope we too, nowadays we have some problems with America and Turkey and I hope everybody comes to heart combined with the head yeah. and peace. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for watching.